Hello everyone. Welcome to Controllers Tech. In this video, we will cover the pressure sensor BMP180, and how to measure temperature, pressure, and altitude using it. I am using Cube ID for the project. Let's take a look at the datasheet by the time ID gets ready. Here we have the measurement flow for the BMP 180. It's better explained in the later part of this document. This is the table for the oversampling setting, also known as OSS. Here you can control what type of calculation you want. I will be using OSS0 in my code, but you are free to choose other values too. Now this is the main algorithm for the measurement. We will come back to this. Let's create the project in Cube IDE. I am using STM32 F4 Discovery Board. Give some name to the project and click Finish. Here is our Cube MX. Let's clear the pinout first. I am selecting external crystal for the main clock. Now as BMP180 works with I2C, let's enable the I2C one. In the later part of this video, I will also use the OLED display, and for that I am selecting fast mode. You can use standard mode also. Let's see the clock setup now. I have 8 MHz crystal, and the system is running at 168 MHz. Click save to generate the project. Here is our main file. Let's first include the library file for the BMP 180. Put the C file in the source and head a file in the include directory. Include the bmp180.h file in the main. Let's see the bmp180.h file. Here we have these functions available to be used in our main file. Start is to start the calibration. To measure the temperature, pressure, altitude. Let's see how the code works. I have defined here the I2C address for the BMP 180. So why the address is 0 cross double E. Let's see the datasheet. Here we have the device address. We will assume that the LSB is 0, then we have 111 here. Which corresponds to E in hexadecimal. And we have 0111 in the higher nibble also. That's make the address 0 cross double E. Next. I have defined some variables here. Let's see the first half of them. These 16-bit variables will be used to store the calibration data. And here are the approximate values for these variables. The rest of them are also mentioned in the datasheet, so I have defined them too. Mm -hmm. 
the MP start calls a function read calibration data. This function reads the calibration values from the EEP ROM of the BMP 180, as mentioned in the datasheet. This 0 cross double A is the start address for these registers. And starting from this address, we need to read 22 registers totally. I have used harli 2 c memory read function to read the memory address. Third parameter is the start address. Size of the start address. And how many bytes to read. A C1 is a 16-bit variable, and the registers are only 8-bit in size. We need to combine two registers to make them 16-bit in size. And we need to do the same for all the calibration variables. Next part is to read the uncompensated temperature. To do that, we need to write 0 cross 2e into the register 0 cross f4, and wait for 4.5 milliseconds. So this is the data to write. I am using memory write function. This is the register, and this here is the data. And wait for 5 milliseconds. Next we need to read, starting from 0 cross F6 register, and we need to read 2 bytes of the data. As the manual says, we need to read 0 cross F6 and F7 register for the MSB and LSB, and finally convert them to a single 16-bit value, to get the uncompensated temperature. Next we need to read the uncompensated pressure, but I preferred to do the calculation for the actual temperature. These calculations here, are as mentioned in the datasheet. Now let's read the compensated pressure. To do so, we need to write 0 cross 3 4, along with the OSS, in the register 0 cross F4. Here OSS stands for oversampling setting. It is explained in the table above. If you choose 0, then the waiting period is 4.5 milliseconds. For any other selection, waiting period also varies. This is the data to be written, and we will write into into this register. I have covered different cases of OSS here. The code will wait according to your choice. Then we need to read the three registers, starting from 0 cross F6. As mentioned in the datasheet, we need to arrange these register values to get the uncompensated pressure. This here is the calculation for actual pressure using the uncompensated value. This is exactly as mentioned in the manual.
we can calculate altitude from sea level, using the pressure value. The formula to do so, is given here. Here P is our actual pressure, and P0 is the standard pressure at sea level. Standard pressure is defined as 101325 pascals. This is how the library was written for the BMP 180. Now let's start our program. First of all let's define the variables, that we are going to store the values in. In the main function, start the BMP 180 to read the calibration data. These calibration values depends on the sensor, and that's why we need to calculate them once. Now in the while loop, we will calculate the temperature first. Then pressure. And then altitude. Let's wait for 2 seconds before repeating the calculations. Let's build our code. All good here, let's debug it. I have added all the values in the expression on the right, so that we can compare it with the values in the datasheet. Let's run it. You can pause the video and compare these values. They all are almost identical, except AC1, and AC2, which have a huge difference. But that's okay, and expected too. As I mentioned earlier, that the calibration values depends on the sensor, and will vary for all. You can see the temperature, pressure, and altitude values are precise, and they are updating every 2 seconds. As I said during the setup, that I will use OLED also. Let's include the libraries for the display. OLED display is also connected to same I2C, that is I2C1. Copy C files in the source, and the header files in the include. Let's include the header file first. These are the arrays, where the characters corresponding to the float values, will be stored. Let's initialize the OLED, and print some strings on it. If you don't understand the OLED functions, check out the OLED video on the top right corner. Now after getting the values of temperature, pressure, and altitude, we will convert them to characters, and display them on the OLED display. This is to display temperature, pressure, and altitude. As you can see, we have some error here, because we are trying to convert the float into the character. The solution is also provided by the IDE. So let's go to Project Properties. Build, Settings. Tool Setting. And enable the Uprint Float. We also need to include the stdio.h file, for the sprintf to work. You can see the error is gone now. Let's build it, and flash to our board. You can see all the values are being displayed. This is it for this video. I hope you understood it. I could have just shown you the library and the working. But the point was to show you guys, how easy it is to use the datasheet, 
and write the functions yourself. You can download the code from the link in the description. Keep watching, and have a nice day ahead.